December 12, 2009. Good morning, everybody. Let us have a clear day today. Right now, the self which you read this teaching and the self which you listen to this voice, who is it? If you say it is I, it means that you are caught by form. If you say it is not I, you are caught by the emptiness. If you give it a name, it means that you already become caught by the name. In this place, in this moment, if one sees the self which sees this teaching, one can see who one is. While one is in the moment, with this teaching and this speech, if one thought appear, one becomes enslaved by that thought and end up being 180,000 miles away. Then even though one reads and hears this teaching, one is not really here. When one comes back to this place, one only brings back dirt, which is impurity, from the 180,000 mile journey. At the time, although one reads this teaching and hears this voice, one is not able to see or hear it correctly, because one has the mind of separation and discrimination. When one reads or hears these teachings, one says, I like it, or I do not like it. I like that voice, or I do not like that voice. One is deeply cut by the thought of discrimination. Even though one sees this teaching and hears this voice, it is difficult to realize and understand this teaching. That is why when someone asks one what the great purpose of the Dharma is, it is difficult for one to realize it even though one is told the answer, the cypress tree in the garden and three pounds of flax. Don't forget, although a mountain is full of snow, it is still a mountain. And even though the water is full of ice, it is still water.